Okay, welcome to our BIB club. This is August 31st, and we have a subject of goals tonight. So let me first start with, again, to remind everyone of some Zoom maintenance. Um, remember to respect everyone on the call and mute yourself when you're not talking. Um, use listening skills. When you contribute to the conversation, then listen so that someone else can contribute um, and they can share. Maybe they're not going to be as forward as you in, um, you know, wanting to share. So we want a little bit of silence to allow them to join. Uh, of course, we need to dress properly. We, we covered that. No nudeness from the bottom down. <laughs> um, the feelings. Um, I want to ask your feelings on this now because I created that new BIB chat, okay, in Messenger. And I just wanted your feelings on it. Do you want me to reinforce that that stay on the subject of BIB and not bring anything else. I mean, I'm guilty of it where I brought in another category of, of uh, you know, sharing in there. Um, but what are, what are your feelings on keeping that BIB chat only BIB conversation? Mm, I think it should stay BIB except for that part where we're sharing success before you start recording. Right, right. Well, yeah, I mean, the BIB can be sharing success on maybe um, the topic that we're on for the week. Okay, so we'll keep it more categorized that it's um, the topic that we the lesson that we either just completed or the new lesson that we're we're going to be covering in that week. Feelings? Um, the, the conversations that we have um, that are other than the BIB, um, is there a way to create a room that we can pop in there and talk about something quick like that? Uh, we can, or can it be put in the Facebook team uh, group page? And then just let me know that you're sharing something, and then I can go in and make sure I approve it. I mean, it's up to you guys. It's your guys's, it's your, your group and your you know, well, just right. just for the what we were doing this whole time with the visionaries, I thought that was great. I mean, there yeah, were people the popping on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and I would like to do that with other people and stay in touch about what they're doing and what their thoughts are. But I get that the BIB group needs to be focused on this very thing, and yeah, so I see why nice. it needs to be that way. Yeah, which is good. But that's why I'm asking, can we put together another group where we can talk to each other at any point? It's like, hey, I got this going on. You know, and then that way it's not showing up on Facebook all the time. It's just like a little private conversation. And we could just say, hey, you know, I, I've got a, an issue with this. Has this happened to you? You know, did anything like this occur before? What is your thought? Right. At least, at least that way we can communicate with each other in a small group without putting it out there on Facebook for the whole world to see. Yeah, I, mean, I, know that I agree. Our group page is private. Not everybody okay. sees the Dawn's Dreamers page. That's private. Dawn. Only the team sees those posts. Right, but oh, okay, so you're saying you'd rather it show up there so that it could benefit all team members? Right, otherwise, I mean, putting everybody in a messenger group would be kind of duplicating what we've already got. I was just thinking okay. that might fill the pages and this way it's a quicker answer and we can get back to each other right away because it'll ding us. I don't get dinged on you. So unless I'm in Dawn's Dreamers, I don't get dinged. Okay. Uh, well, one, you need to maybe make that the notifi a notification group. Oh, no. I have so many that I get dinged on. I will be looking at that thing all day throwing <laughs> it against the wall. I kid you not. I sit here from 6 o'clock in the morning until 3.30 in the afternoon with three kids trying to get them focused on schoolwork. And with this thing going ding, 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 ding. I, I was going crazy. I really was. Right. So right. Did you join another group in there with a ding? 
Did you turn I, off that notification for the um, for the messenger group? Because I think Darwin posted the how you can turn it off. Yeah, he did, and it worked for all of two minutes, and then it started dinging again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the kids thought it was hilarious. I kept yelling at the phone. They didn't know what was going to happen next. It was interesting. It was fun. But, you know, Facebook, you never know for sure what's going to work. Right, but right. My, so, my well, thought is... Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, it, I, I wouldn't want to put it in a group... I mean, I, I see like all the faces I see on my screen, because you're all sitting right there. All the faces that I see on my screen, these are all people that we interact with the most. Mm -hmm. And if we're putting it out there for all 200, if you've got 200 people on there, I don't know how many people you've got on your Yeah, on more than that group. now, but that's okay. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, they may or they may not be part of it. I guess, I guess they could probably benefit from any of the information we might be sharing with each other. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I have a friendship with all of you guys right now. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And if I pop it out there. I know you guys are there and you're going to answer me. And if I put it on the Dawn's Dreamers, yes, other people might answer, but I mean, it might be all day before I look at it, or it might be tomorrow before I look at it. Oh, it's then, more of an instant, yeah, instant response. Maybe I have an answer, but but I didn't see it until a week later, and that's like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I know exactly what you mean, you know, but it's already too late because I never saw it. You okay. follow what I'm saying? The thing I yeah. do is I have a, a well, on my team, I've got besides the team group, I have a group chat, just similar to visionaries, where um, when there's something I need the team to know about right now, I put it in the group chat so everybody's phone goes ding, you know. No, they don't. That Dawn. <laughs> they don't, Mary? Did you I, say turn no, they don't? I have it turned off. <laughs> You, you go in there, you go in there and turn it off, and you turn you click the button that says turned off until I turn it back on. Try that. <laughs> Oh, it it, can't, it started doing it, it again. It mine don't. It stays off. So I have to. So I go in periodically and look at it. You know, I but go off like what Flo was talking about, like it was going off in visionaries. In the right. Visionaries. Yeah. Well, I turned that one off too, cause that little beeping. I remember that. <laughs> I can't help, that beeping drives me crazy. I can't help it. <laughs> Okay. I have to to ask me, what the heck is that? We're, we're not going to take the whole hour to talk about this. So um, <laughs> let's just, I, I'll, I'll look into that. We can have some, uh, some other conversations about that. I'll look into that. But for right now, everybody agrees. Let's keep the BIB to be information about the club. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Does that, does that sound good? Okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, let's first get started with how did we celebrate after the last uh, session we had? Because there was a little thing underneath your signature on that page that you were supposed <laughs> to celebrate on your vision. Does anyone want to share how they celebrated from their last session? Mm. Okay. I walked my dog. You to walked the park to, and back. That was your celebration. Okay, anybody else? I went I to bed. You went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I took my dogs for a walk and then started getting caught up in um, Cobra Kai, which is uh, a new series on Netflix about 30 years after the final part of the original Karate Kid. And that was something that you've been wanting to do, but you didn't do. Okay. Yeah. That can be counted as a celebration. Anybody else? How did they celebrate for what they did? I rewrote it myself with a planner, a new planner. A new planner. Okay. So along with this. That's good. That's a great thing. Anyone else? How did you celebrate? I just gave myself a high five. Woo! Go. We, go. we can give ourselves all high fives, right? That's good. Give our right. sets a pat on the back. <laughs> That's right. We did the first session and now we're on to session number two. So what is your biggest takeaway from this goal section? Okay. What is the biggest takeaway? Who wants to share? 
I'm sorry, Don. What did you ask? What is the biggest takeaway of what? What is the biggest takeaway of this session that we're talking about tonight? The getting one. goals, setting goals, talking about my your goal. inner critic. My takeaway, my takeaway is that this made me think about more of the wood aspect and the outside of just business. And I have some goals written down, and right now there's only one of them that one, maybe two, that pertains to business. The rest is in other aspects. So yeah, it's got my mind thinking about things. So it got you thinking about different things that you want to see happen, right? Anybody yep. else want to share uh, that did the workbook that wants to uh, tell us what what was their takeaway? Really just getting everything organized, time management, holding myself more accountable, like Roger said, focusing on what you want to accomplish and putting the action behind it, um, surrounding myself by uplifting others like you guys, you know, being in groups like this to encourage each other, um, which is very powerful and uh, that everything counts. So just to make sure to start, <laughs> write it down and start and just keep going. That's the thing. We can sit and think of ideas all day, all week. You got to put the action there. So I got lots of books of ideas, but those yeah. ideas, paper don't do nothing right <laughs> well oh i got a lot of ideas when i got off of the visionary oh my god i got on tiktok i got on a business site i got my business out there i got two new customers ordering from me from that good for you is that and then yeah. i got and then yeah. i did another one there was yeah. another yeah. does this relate to the goal setting how does yeah. that, or does it relate to visionaries? This relates to both. Okay, both. from the goals that you wrote down, okay? Yes. Okay, anyone else? No? Well, like I've always told my team, you ink it, you don't just think it, right, Roger? That's right. <laughs> so drilled into my head right now that I'm actually starting to say that to other people. There you go. That's that. that it is true. You it won't get done if it stays up here because that inner critic mind sometimes will kick things out. We don't want that. We want everything that's powerful and good to come out. Right. Right. Exactly. I was gonna say that um, I wasn't gonna write any of my goals or anything down because I know what they are in my head. Mm -hmm. But um, I was reading some of this as I could get to it because you all know that it's a busy week for me all the time. Um, but I started thinking about that. And my thought is, is that if I have it sitting there, I can look at it periodically and I can stay focused. Um, and, and not talking about the long term. Mm -hmm. And in order to have a big dream, you have to have little bites. You can't eat the right. elephant all at once. You just have to take a little bite out of it and then chew it. And then eventually the whole thing goes down. So yep. if, if, your, uh, if your big thing is, is really big and you know you have to take those little bites, you put those little things out in front of you so you can stay focused on what your next conquest is going to be. It might just be something really small and simple like getting to that next neighborhood and passing out some books. Or, you know, it could be something even bigger by holding a bigger event. So whatever those bites are, it brings you to the end. But if you have those little things sitting up there in front of you one at a time, you can see them, they're in focus, and you can chew on them one at a time and get them off the wall. And, and you can see your progress that way too. You get now, it how yeah. would you put those little bites up there? What would be some ideas? Oh, what would the little bites be? Well, um, would, no, not the not sure actual bites, but how would you display them? What would you, where would you put it? What would you? I have a wall. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I think maybe if I had those things in line and I was setting myself up for a goal, like um, our town isn't big on having those little rep fests, although we do have a, um, not rep fest, um, festivals. We do have what they call market day and there is not an Avon lady in that. So one of my things, and I can't do it this year anymore. The last one is coming up this weekend, 
but I can get prepared for next year and that could be something I can do. So right. what I can do, I could go visit that site and in the meantime, I can find out who I need to talk to, how big of a booth I can have, what I can put out there and what I need to have in order <laughs> to fit into their rules and regulations, that kind of thing. Get that all ready and then I can tack that to this wall over here and then once I've accomplished the little goals on that, I just check them off with a big check mark and I get it all lined up for next year. Okay, so you have them all on one piece of paper then? Each goal and what I need to do to achieve it. That's how okay. I'll do it. Okay. So what you're saying is it would be better if we wrote our goals down and posted them up really high so we could see them, you know, regularly? Yeah, <laughs> that would work for me. You could put okay. it on your mirror. That would work for me too in order to see them. <laughs> Yeah, yes. yeah. You could put it on your mirror in your bathroom. You could put it on your refrigerator. You could put it on your mm -hmm. wall by your computer. Um, use post-it notes or big pieces of paper. Whatever, whatever works for you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's talking? Me. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, what do you do, Don? What do I do? I have a bulletin board in the office that has all these things for the year that I want to complete. But the smaller things, um, I put it in my phone because I go by the days on my phone all the time, you know, on what my schedule is, who I've got to call, who I've got to meet with, my doctor's appointments, whatever. So I would put it in, um, I would put it in my phone on a certain time of the day. Oh, okay. Okay, anybody else want to share how they will keep their eye on their goals? Well, I got to tell you on the phone earlier, my goal sheet is going to be with, within reach me the entire time because I'm still writing goals down. Okay. You can add I have a, that list every day, you know, so, okay. Go I ahead. have an additional planner and I'm going to start writing down all my goals in there and look at it like daily. Okay. Good idea. Anyone else want to share any goals, any ways they're going to see their goals? I always find out, find that if I have, if I have things written down where I can see them all the time, I'm, it's easier for me to accomplish it. Mm -hmm. So I need to, I need to get that together. Okay. Okay. Because there, I have set some goals for myself for this, the rest of this year. Good. So. Mary, you, you had lots of goals. So proud of you. It's awesome. Well, hey, we're talking honor society before Christmas. Okay. When, yeah, when, when, you hit a goal, when you hit a goal, you've got to have another one. You've got to have the right. bigger ones. You've got to reach higher, you know, <laughs> reach for, reach for the moon. And the worst that can happen is you fall amongst the stars, right? Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. But if you don't put something out there, you're not going to, you're not going to work to be able to accomplish that goal. And right. I've always been the type of person that when I have a goal, I, I work at trying to get it. Because mm -hmm. that's just me. I work harder, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was recently by my computer. And this was the goal for the trip. So yep. I had that by my computer. A couple pictures. Some of my favorite pictures. I love a lazy river. So I put that, that goal there, the lazy river, because... Um, you know, when I go on these trips, I'm lazy, <laughs> laying by, laying on the beach or doing whatever. That's, that's my, that's what I want to see happen. So, okay, let's go on. We're going to go into the reading insights in the book and everything was from build it big this time. If you notice, yep. if you had a chance to read and it started right back, let's go to page two. If you got your build it big handy. Um, and it starts right with on page two, uh, treat every day like your first day in business. So um, not reading the whole book on page four, 
Um, I want someone to take number one, someone different to take number two, and someone different to take number three. Read that for us. I'll do number one. Okay, go ahead. Start a journal of your accomplishments and the things that you need to improve. Pat yourself on the back for your good points and make immediate plans to improve any weaknesses you note. This will help you to stay focused on your goals and what you need to do to reach them. Okay, number two. I'll go two. As you begin each workday, see yourself as a true champion. Visualize yourself speaking positively and confidently, walking or sitting with good posture, remembering names and details, receiving praise and rewards for your efforts. Okay, and number three. Keep a highly visual plaque, picture, or inspiring quote in your workplace to remind you of your purpose and why your work is important. It should be a visual so powerful that it inspires you each time you see it. This reminder will help you to maintain that fresh first day focus as you press towards your goals. And that's kind of exactly what we just got done talking about, right? Mm -hmm. That kind of breaks it all down right there for you. <laughs> okay, now, um, let's see, there was one thing. Well, while you're looking for that, Dawn, I want to show you something. I'm going to switch my camera. I've already done that. I've done that for a few months. i got to switch up my camera around to show you something here. Okay. Mine. When, you, when I stretch back my arms and stretch up to my ceiling, that's what I see. <laughs> so when you're reclining in your office chair, you're looking at the ceiling. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. When I, need to take, when I need to take my eyes off the monitor for a little bit. Okay. Another thing that I pointed out when I was reading this section, it goes back one page to page three. <laughs> Mm -hmm. is, is the determination finds many ways to succeed. So you have to have determination, mm -hmm. right, to make this successful in reaching those goals. So that's a good paragraph to read if you, you know, skimmed over it and haven't read it yet. But it also goes into something else that uh, my other coaching call has uh, brought to my attention and it's self-coaching. And the self-coaching yourself is like when you get, before you get out of bed, you lay there and you go, today is going to be this day for me to complete this. Or today is gonna be my best day all week. So again, you're talking to your mind, you're coaching yourself to make it a good day. And you can coach yourself all day long. Instead of negative coming out, coach yourself to be the positive coming out because that's gonna help you all the way around, okay? So now let's go to Page 20, in the same book, Build It Big. And that, that section is Focus on Execution. <laughs> Page 20 in, in Build It Big. And the, the one that I circled, actually, with my pen in the book is right next to that picture that says, your goals will never fail you, rather you fail them, largely due to the lack of implementation. Okay, so think about that quote. Your goals will never fail you, rather you fail them, largely due to the lack of implementation. And okay, the other that might sound stupid, but what, what is implementation? Um, carrying it out, doing, 
Got it. Okay. Doing I'll write that what, in my book. What it needs, you need to do to reach that goal. Okay. Now, I posted earlier today, about an hour or something ago, a picture to the BIB club. And it's this picture right here. And those of you that were on, and you can pull it up on your phone later if you can't see it right now, but those of you that were on Nikki Kihoho's call that she did with, I can't remember if it was the leaders or with our group, but she said in there, and this picture really relates to this, is create your reality. The top picture, the top circle, starts with imagine and that's and that's Sorry. kind of what we're doing tonight is we're imagining and writing down those goals those thoughts then it goes into dream then it goes into celebrate already okay so celebrate is not always at the end mm -hmm. so you're imagine you're dreaming and you're celebrating what you've accomplished with your imagining and dreaming. Mm. Then it goes into vision, which is kind of what we had last week. The vision, engaging that vision, which we're doing with this um, work section on your goals. And then the next circle is goals. So see, there's a lot before the goals come in. A lot of it is mind, dream, picture that, you know, imagine what it would look like there. All of those things that are kind of in your head, but it also told you tonight in the workbook to write down some of those pictures and see just, you know, to give you a clearer picture of what it is. Okay, so now go back to page 22. Where do I, where can I go to, to print that out? To um, print every this out? Time I go to, there, every yeah. time when I click on your picture, it opens up a website. Uh, blah, blah. That picture you posted on right now, when I click on it, it's I, yeah, I put it, I put it in there. You can print it from that chat right there. The oh, okay. chat. Just click on it and save it, and then you can. When I do, Don, as soon as I click on it to save it, it opens up and takes me to DSWA workshop, I mean, the DSWA bib club. Okay. The picture. Okay, I can send it in an email too. I've got the document, Thank you. so I can do that. Thank you. Okay. So on page twenty-two. Okay, let me just mute Mary here. Okay. Okay. Um, then page 22 of Build It Big, I starred this bullet right here. Realize that everything you say, you think, and you do counts. Con consciously pay attention to the small details of core activities and notice whether each one moves you closer to or farther from achieving that goal. Okay, so be aware of the things that you do and make sure your activities are helping you reach that goal and not taking you away. Okay. The other thing that I uh, made note of is improving your execution today. I'm not going to read all those bullets, but make sure that you star those in your book, that you go back and, and think about those. And, and, and it ends with every word you speak and action you take. Everything counts. Okay. So some good thoughts there that um, I wanted to go over. Now, let's see, was there anything I starred in page 247? Mm, okay. So that's just about the same thing that we're gonna go over in the workbook 
is the 101 Goal Rush Challenge. And that is jotting down those goals that we talked about in completing the workbook. Okay, so in the workbook on page 15, under the category Dare to Dream, the workbook page 15, I underlined, allow yourself to feel what it feels like in your body to have what you seek. That would be a great quote, I think, to put on a sticky note that you yeah. would see every day. Allow yourself to feel what it feels like in your body to have what you seek. Okay? So then, let's see what. The next page, again, it goes back to what we covered a little bit on page 16 about your inner critic. Your inner though that that voice inside your head and let me tell you when i was writing down my goals that voice inside of my head was very prevalent it's pretty loud yeah pretty loud mm -hmm. yeah you got to be stronger than that voice inside of your head and not let that voice stop you from writing down something and it's okay whatever you write down I mean, you know, it's between you and the paper. And then, you know, if you want to share any of those with your leader or your, you know, or me, of, of course, you know, we can talk about it. But that's uh, on the bottom of page 16 and into page 17, I've got some more bullets that I highlighted where it starts with, uh, it's under your 101 goal rush. And then it starts with here, excuse me, here is a checklist to ensure you're using a successful framework to set your 101 goals. So we're gonna start with people reading again, who would like to take the first dot? I'll go. Okay. Your goals must be yours, not your spouse's, not your child's, not your employer's. When you let other people determine your definition of success, you're sabotaging your own future. Good point. I'll go, I'll go next. Okay. Your go goals must um what your goals be must mean something to you. You reason for charting a new course of action gives you the drive and energy to get up every morning. Okay. And that again was what we talked about, about mm -hmm. coaching your inner self, coach your inner self every day to make you succeed in those goals. The third dot. Right. Your goals must You're be specific. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, whoever wants to start, the next one can do the next bullet. Okay. Oh, a tie between Teresa and Roger. Who's going to go? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go. Go ahead, Teresa. <laughs> go go ahead, ahead, Teresa. Okay. Your goals must be spe specific and measurable. Vague generalizations and decisive statements aren't good enough. Be very specific. Okay. That's, you know, they can't be... You know, I'm going to clean the whole family room, right? Or I'm going to clean the whole house. Be specific about what I'll you're going to do. Okay. I'll the read next, next. The next bullet, I think, Roger, did you want to go with the oh, next okay. one? And then yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do the next one. Your goals must be flexible. A flexible plan keeps you from... Um, just man, I'm a little dark here. Um, feeling suffocated allows you to take advantage of genuine opportunities that walk in your future door. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read that without my glasses. So, <laughs> okay, go ahead, Jen. Okay, your goals must be 
alignment with your values. I'm sorry, my reading is okay. kind of slow. Pay attention to your, your intuition, your gut, when you set goals that con contradicts. contradicts your values, some, something inside will twinge. Okay. Something inside will twinge, meaning something inside, like a feeling? Mm -hmm. Some, kind of something okay. inside right will tell you you're you're going the right direction okay, okay. who wants to go back one goal because we got our one uh bullet we got one <laughs> was it the first one um Which one the second, the second one. One. i'm sorry your goal is both challenging and exciting for force yourself to jump out of your comfort zone to acquire that much needed energy and edge Okay, mine says energy and enthusiasm. So, yeah. Um, okay, now let's uh, let's go down to the one, two, three, four. Are we on the fourth bullet or the fifth, guys? We're on the fourth. 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 I think I missed one. I'm sorry, guys. That's all right. Go ahead. Fourth bullet. Who's gonna read? My fourth one. She just read before Roger. Okay. Who's next? Your goals must be well balanced. Be sure to include ideas that will allow you to relax, have yeah. fun, and enjoy. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Uh, Christine, do you want to read it? Sure. Your goals must be realistic, be expansive, but don't be ridiculous. If you're four feet tall, you'll probably never play in the NBA. <laughs> okay. Over All right. Nope. So yeah, mine doesn't say that, but that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah mine doesn't say that either. Um, <laughs> and it was it was the same in the beginning. The only the end was set yourself up for success and consider goals that are achievable and still stretch you. Yeah, I'll never be in are the you? NBA. I'm barely five foot tall. And although I know the shortest player is five foot two, he's yeah. probably not my weight and he's carrying the girls with him. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Are you guys are you guys reading from different versions of the book? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Only I do though, right? That's why I wasn't speaking. Throw anybody uh, off. <laughs> uh Bobby Joe or Kim, do you want to read one of the bullets here? Are you, are you muted? Sure. Okay. Your goals must include contribution. Zig Ziglar said it so well. Secure the success of others and you will automatically secure your own success. In the process of pursuing your goals, remember to give back and share with others. Okay. That's an important goal to think about too. Keep these, I mean, these are all really good bullet points to, to put around your house, right? And, yeah, they really are. And Bobby Joe, are you able to read one? I, I just see your, your picture or your name, but not a picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, let me read the last one. Your goals must be supported. Share your dreams with people who will support and encourage you. They will empower you and hold you accountable. Okay. Good I have point. an issue with that last one. You have an issue with it? Yeah, because um, I, I took some classes a, a long time ago. Um, it was called uh, the Phoenix Project. And we were the second graduating class from this. We're talking more than 20 years ago. Um, the basis behind that class was that we rise up. Well, you all know what the bird phoenix is. It gets to a certain point in its life. Yes. So old and decrepit, it will burst into flame. At least that's the theory. And it will be reborn from the ashes of its own demise. So 
they were called it the Phoenix product project because they wanted us to rise up from our old self and become a new person. It's a very cool program. But this, that the way it talks to this one, it says your goals must be supported. One of the things they talked about there was the crawdad bucket. You all know what a crawdad is, right? It's like a tiny little uh, lobster. Yes. Well, yeah. So if you had a pile of those in a bucket, not a single one will be able to crawl out. And the reason why they can't crawl out is because they get to the top, very, very close to the top, but they allow the other ones below them to reach up and pull their legs back down. So their whole plan behind the story, the crawdad in the bucket, is that you have to shake those people off. The ones that right. are putting you back and keeping you from achieving the goals that you set for yourself are going, they're going to pull you down. They don't want to see you, not all of them, but some of them don't want to see you succeed because if you succeed, you can prove that you can better yourself and that you can pull yourself out. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be held accountable for themselves. So they'll be more than happy to pull you back down into that bucket, but right. don't let them kick them off and get yourself out of the bucket. And that right. was the whole plan behind it. It was to lift yourself up and achieve your goals and your dreams. And that that's was a true. good way of explaining that. And that, you know, <laughs> and that's where some people, um, you know, won't support you. They're the negative people in your life and you've got to push them away so they don't hold you back. And exactly. that's exactly what she was saying. Yes. So, you know, you pick your supportive partner well, right? Okay, so Which you is why I like this group so much because we all help each other. I can see all like you guys on that rim hiking my butt out of that bucket. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you a push, Flo. <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah, yeah we'll give you right. a big push. Thank yeah. you. So that's yeah, awesome. That's, when I get up there, we'll I'll pull push you up you right out that bucket. That's right. You know, I always say. No. Um, and it used to be a picture in Avon's leadership, but they've changed it. But it was when I first started leadership. And it was someone standing there. They have one hand going up and another hand going down. And the hand going down is to pull the people in your team up with you. As I you, love it. <laughs> as you, um, as you you know, are advancing up the steps. You know, you're advancing your goals, you're advancing what you want to achieve. And so you want to want to help them. And that's, right. you know, that's an example of a leader, of a leader helping her team succeed. So that's always my goal. So if anybody needs someone that's gonna pull them up and not down, That'll be me. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we are on the pages of the goals. And the only thing I'm going to read on each page, unless I, and when we get to the end, somebody, there's still time and somebody wants to share their goals. But, um, you know, it said, periodically on the, by the numbers, what do I want to do? What do I want to have? What do I want? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to live? That's one of my goals. That's one of my goals. How many homes do I want? Okay. And then it was, how can I contribute? How do I expect to learn? Who do I want to be around? That's kind of what we just talked about. How much do I expect to earn? How many dollars do you want to put in your pocket? What are these book? your questions, Dawn, or are these some? No, of the these are in the book. These are in the book every so often on the goal pages. Oh, I see them. Yeah. And then wow. the, there's two more. What will I do for fun? Okay. How are you going to celebrate? What else do I dream about? Okay. Nice. 
So those are well, things. I'm celebrating next year going to the Dominican Republic. How about you? Yes, yes we are. are. We <laughs> both are going to be celebrating that for sure. And a, a, another one from our team, Becky McGuire, earned that trip too. Nice. Oh, she did? Okay, cool. Yeah, I really know you guys can go. Even though it's, I I earned a trip for two to the Bahama trip that we didn't get to take, but um, it's nice to see those dollar signs in that bank account. Yeah, <laughs> I That's a good chunk. Fan. It's like I have to restock my office. He goes, "Where are you gonna put it?" It's like, can you put some shelves on this wall for me over here? He's like, are you out of your mind? I mean, if our house ever burns down, it'll smell so good in this neighborhood. <laughs> I got to get some shows, which is my goal. I have a goal. There you go. There's one goal. Yeah. Um, we It's at 6.52. Um, so we have about five minutes that we can, uh, anybody want to share some of their goals they wrote down? Uh, no, not me. Two goals. Anybody want to share one or two goals? I'll okay, I saw. I oh, go ahead. Go, Jen. Go. Okay, so where do I want to go? Paris and Rome. That's where I want to go. And I want to get to Bronze Ambassador. Okay. You want to do what? I want to get to Bronze Ambassador. Bronze okay. Ambassador. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else want to share one or two of their goals? Okay, I'll share one. Where do I want to live? Somewhere else other than this trailer park. <laughs> You're being a little bit general there, Roger. You need to be a little bit more specific. I, I want to I either rent or it's probably going to be more rent a house so I can put Avon signs out in the yard. There you go. Well, you got to check with the landlord on that. A lot of them won't let yes, you. I do. <laughs> I do know. We're not allowed to have signs in our yard. So I found a loophole. I've got signs in my window and on my deck. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody else want to share one or two goals? I'll share a couple. Well, I, oh, <clears throat> go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I have one. Um, my one is, uh, what else do I dream about? It goes into my goals. Um, my goal, my ultimate goal is to leave a financial legacy for my children. This is, why I, this is why I'm starting my Avon business up, up because I'm ready to retire. I'm teaching. And so I want to do something that else that I like to do. And I so there we go. And I did small goals by, by taking this class, getting back in touch with Dawn. Those are some of my small goals to help me to get to my big goal. Now, have you celebrated what you've done already by getting back into Avon, by contacting me? Uh, I celebrated by just getting a space organized just for my things and my business. <laughs> there you go. That's how I did it. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Roger, did you have something you wanted to share? One goal? Well, I already did. did. Okay. Who, who else wants to share a goal that hasn't yet? I was going to go ahead and share. Um, Dan, uh, my husband, he has, he has a goal to retire in I think we're still at four years and maybe two days and he's got it down to the hour and minute. We might actually be at three years, 362 days, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, he's got a countdown. So my goal <laughs> is to let him do that without worrying about um, health insurance, um, life insurance, all yeah. the little extras. We can retire right now and be comfortable where we're at, but my goal is to build this business up enough that we don't have to worry about our health insurance and that there everything can keep mm -hmm. moving along. And when he's retired, this business will take care of all those little extras, the, the vacations we want to take, the places we want to go. And he right now, the only thing he's worried about is his health insurance. So 
Avon has health insurance and I want to build my team and I want to build this business so that I can get on board with that and have it rolling along so that we don't even have to think about it and we just go. Mm -hmm. and then my second goal was where do you want to live? So we have property in Kentucky, right off Kentucky Lake, and oh. we want to build a house. So we want a place to vacation, and so that's what we're going to do. That's going to be part of this goal. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, great. Is there anybody else who wants to share? Well, I have a small goal that I decided I want to do. And I have a room that I call the Avon room, which has become more of a junk room. <laughs> and I want to put a desk in there and straighten it up so that it looks more like an office. There you go. So that I can have a wall where I can put my goals up there and I can look at them every day. And, you know, just, just have it more of an office so that I can go in there and work and feel like I'm working. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're, you're not at the kitchen table or at the dining room table or in the middle right. of the room. Right. Right. It's just, so that maybe then I'll feel like I can take my Avon more serious or something. You know, it just, I think it'll help my attitude towards Avon and doing what I want to do. There you go. So I got a big goal. I got a very big goal and I will get there if it's going to take me a long time to get there, but I am going to open my own store. That's my goal. What kind of store? If you're talking Avon, about an Avon, an Avon store. You can't. We're not allowed to do that anymore. You can't. Mm -hmm. Penny does it. She's had her license from Avon for a long time. Yeah, that's but what I'm saying. And down the line. She, she bought that from another rep that had the approval of having a store, but right now Avon is not allowing any new stores to go up. Hmm. Yeah, when years ago when I got in on uh, Avon back in 1976, when I first sold it, they were doing that. You could set it up and do it, and I don't even think Avon even questioned it. They just let you do it. But then in 92, when I joined the second time, um, they still let you do it. And that was a big surprise when I came back on board in 2017 that um, that they weren't letting them do that anymore because that was one of my goals. I was very upset that they didn't do it. And I hope in the future they might want to let you do that again for anybody who's interested. We used to have one in our town years ago, many, many years ago when I was back in it. And she goes, oh, yeah, you can set it up. You can take it over if you want. And then I didn't stay in the in it anymore. But yeah, that was a goal, and that would have been nice. But yeah, um, we so might do it further that, down the road, but maybe not. Let me ask you this: How could you get around that? What what other setup could you do? I have my office, my beautiful big office. I will show you. I've got. Oh. Let me see here if I can turn it around. Look at, see all that? I have got my office set up. So would you want your customer to set up a, a buy area? Would you want your customers to go in to that office and purchase products from you there? Yeah. Why That's my goal. That, that, that's my goal. Um, I'm going to repaint uh, our hallway and we're going, my husband's going to allow me to put Avon in my hallway, like stickers and stuff. And it's going to be a light pink and this part of this room and that room is mine so, so you have yeah. you have it pictured already you have that in your head what you want oh, it yeah. to look like but you know what else we just did we just passed over an obstacle there's going to be obstacles as you would try to achieve these goals and you got you can't quit when you hit an obstacle you've got to find a way around it 
jump over that obstacle and find a way that would be okay with Avon, that there would, you know, you can have a licensed beauty center, but you can have a room at your place like that. Yeah. So, so that's an obstacle that you just passed. I know yep. an Avon lady who has a, um, she has a permanent booth that she keeps her Avon in all the time. And they were, they open on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and her Avon is there and they let her, they let her stay where she's at. Um, not all places let you do that. You have to break it down, but this particular place lets her do it. And she's got her Avon in there and that might be an option. I don't know if you have that in Geneseo or not, but. Well, Geneseo is getting so bad. They're ready to shut everything down in Geneseo. Yep. I just yep. got a emergency thing sent from Geneseo saying that we have so many COVID in Geneseo now. Yeah, here in Geneseo, we're in warning status that if the cases keep climbing, all of yeah. Henry County is going to be the back locked down back to level three. Yep, we're going back right to now, level we're, three. We're going to be able to do vendor that. shows. We're not going to be able to have garage sales. We're not going to allowed to do anything they said. Exactly. Well, and that and it could come because they do. I mean, not we're going to go off back to our VIB club, but. Um, you know, with the flu season coming up, they do say that there could be a backlash. But um, but anyway, we still have our goals that we can reach for. That's not going to yes. stop us, right? That's I am just going to go around it instead of falling crashing right into it. I am going to go. Figure out okay. a way to go around. Can't do that. So let's do this or this. Okay. Or and this. it is 7.03. Who okay. hasn't shared one goal that they would like to share yet? Anybody? You don't have to, but I want to offer it if you want to. I want to be able to sell Avon full time, and I don't want to do my aid work anymore. That's right. Really tiring. Your goal. Okay, you've got that written down, Mel, right? Yes. Okay, good. Well, I want to start doing Facebook lives, maybe doing Facebook parties, and maybe I can yeah. start selling some of the products I have on hand. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'm still learning about how to do a party on the internet. I'm, I'm still kind of... Go to YouTube. There's tons. Or go to Pinterest. There's tons of ideas. Both at oh, Pinterest okay. and YouTube, there's tons of ideas. You know, you could go to a direct selling now and they offer a class that you can purchase and Lindsay uh, teaches you how to do it. Oh, is, isn't that like, I think I'm on that. Um, I think. It's a Facebook group? No, it, it teaches you how no. to set up a Facebook party. Yeah, there, I, I'm on this one thing for my business that's out there everywhere, like 40 miles away. Um, you know, my, um, and then it my, says um, that they can train me how to really get my business Okay, going. just just be careful with what you make sure it's no. not scam. That's, that's all I'm saying. Just be, be aware that people could be taking your money for this type of thing and it it really isn't um exactly. you know the true true training so okay yeah. well, well where is the goal that? i have before we go okay. one more goal before we have i uh, actually jen kind of got me thinking about it looking at my office i think i need to have my desk at an angle purchase some more bookshelves so i can put bookshelves uh where people when they when they come in and shop because i do have customers to shop my inventory already I want to fix it when they walk in. All they're going to see is products with shelves instead of my desk. Okay. You know, I want to put my desk at an angle, put bookshelves behind it facing outward to the rest of the room. Okay. All right. You can use it as kind of a divider, you know. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now we're at 7.05. Um, make sure on page 27 that you, um, you know, sign and date that that form and also we need to 
when we come back next uh, next meeting, which we need to talk about that too, uh, when we come back the next meeting, uh, you want to sell it. You want to share with us what how you're celebrating that you wrote down your goals. Okay. Okay. And then so, what should we be working on? Well, okay. This is what we're going to talk about. The next one is clarify your why. That's on page 28. That's real important that we cover that one. And um, okay. And then let me look at the calendar. So pull up your calendars, folks, because next Monday is September 7th, which is a holiday. So we kind of said we are going to skip that one, but it's up to you guys now. If we skip that one, do you want to cover two sessions in uh, when we meet again on the 14th? Do you want to cover the clarify your why? And the next one is success habits. Do you want to do two sessions since we're going to not meet for two weeks? I vote for two because if I'm going to have time to read this next chapter this week, then I'm going to have plenty of time the following week to read the second one. So I vote for two. Okay. I agree. Yeah, I vote, for two. Yeah, I I vote, vote two. two. So two, two is we're going to do two mm -hmm. sessions the next time we meet on September 14th. September 14th at six o'clock. We'll do two sessions. It'll be page 28 through um, 32. And then the next session is Success Habits, which is 33 through 38, I believe. It is. Okay. So we'll do those two okay. in the next two weeks. So we'll meet again on the 14th. What about in our books? It tells you what to read, hon. Look in the workbook. Okay. Okay. On page Got it. 28, at the, on the okay. first page of that section, it tells okay. you what to read. And then the next section tells you what to read. So you read those okay. that section that kind of like what we covered tonight. Okay. okay. So is this going to be a longer meeting? Is this going to be a longer meeting or is it still going to be the hour? Because my, my calendar has me specified times. Well, what what's up to you guys? Do you want to meet for longer than an hour? Do you want to meet sooner than six o'clock? Let's meet. I wonder if we can meet sooner than six o'clock. And still go to seven. Do we want to start at 530? Does that work? Does that hinder anybody in the school in the working? working no, no, I think I can make 530. I think I can deal with that. 530? Yeah, I could do that. Okay, 530 works for everyone. 530 until 7 for the next one then. Okay, since we're covering two. Make sure you put that in the uh, BIB group so that the, Christine and um, I think Jody isn't here. That's true. Too. Right, right, yeah. I will put it in there with the pages and the date and the time and all that good stuff so that everybody's aware of it and they see the BS. Well, I'm gonna to try to get Jody here for the next class. She's going through something right now. She's just- She can catch really... up, you know, she can catch up. So, you know, yeah. she just works on this one and then works on the next two. She'll be right caught right up, so. And then Everyone we have- good? Kim, is that work for you okay, 5.30? Does that work for you next uh, in two weeks for meeting a little bit earlier at 5.30, which would be 6.30 your time? I'll try. Then, yeah, okay. Oh, it's 6.30. Oh. Well, 6.30 your time. It'd be 5.30 Central. Gotcha. Okay. I was thinking, holy cow, we're starting two and a half hours early. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, uh, 6.30 your time, 5.30 Central okay. time, and we'll go till 7.00. Or okay. with you, we'll go till eight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. I know. And well, our Zoom <laughs> chat is what? Six o'clock the 17th? Um, our uh, Zoom, our next Zoom chat is going to be, it's going to be on uh, September 10th. 
September. Oh, okay. So not this Thursday, but a week from I Thursday. Got this mixed up then because uh, your schedule said September third, seventeenth. And then October 1st. Right, right. Yeah, I, I will correct that on there. So if anybody wrote that schedule down, then um, I did. What, it, what, why we moved it to the 10th instead of the 3rd is really hard for us to get the recognition numbers when we right. have it the Thursday after the campaign closes. So I got kind of uh, corrected with my computer-minded, numbers-minded person that that <laughs> was better to have it the week after. I hear in the of background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, okay. All right, well, we're at 712, so I will say bye to everyone, and bye. we will bye. Bye. Everybody have a great uh, week. We'll talk more about um, creating a group um, like you wanted, that we can talk other things other than BIB. Okay. okay. Sounds okay. good. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.